Yo, Scythe here, just like the knife, and I've got another Think Like a Raiden where I go over my rank scenarios, explaining my thought process, in turn helping you to become a better player. Let's head to scenario one. We're in a 1 vs 3 on Haven and both my teammates Fade and Rainer decide to peek, resulting in a 2 vs 1 for the enemy when it was a 1 vs 3. I decided if the sage does jump out of heaven, I'll use my gravity well. I push out more so that the sage isn't able to jump to this spot without me seeing. Notice the position of my crosshair. By using my peripheral vision, I'm able to juggle two potential situations. If she jumps on the box, I'll simply flick while she's midair. And if she falls near my gravity well, I'll simply suck. I'm expecting the trade to be instant, so I preemptively gravity weld the moment I kill the Sage so that if the Rain is in midair, she's essentially doomed. With a little side strip, I was able to displace Rainer's aim as aiming whilst in gravity weld is extremely difficult. Scenario 2 Lotus Crosshair Placement This was the first official Lotus tournament where I got a simple 3k. However, it's my crosshair placement that I wanted to highlight. I recently go out of brimstone smoke without utilizing my flash which is a clear and obvious mistake. The correct play will be flashing up high like this so that if there's an enemy there, they will be flashed. I kill the omen and miss the initial shot on Neon causing her to hide behind the wall. And because we were both aware of each other's position, I decided to position my crosshair further out in anticipation of a wide swing. Typically, when both players are aware of each other's position um, and one of the enemies is holding the angle, the other player will go for a jiggle followed by a wide swing to catch the one holding the angle off guard. Something so simple but was the main reason why I comfortably won that gunfire and let my crosshair placement do all the heavy lifting. Scenario 2 Sage 3k This is one of my favourite scenarios to be in which is a standard 1 vs 2 retake. I just killed a breach and the enemies know my exact position so I expect them to develop a crossfire and trade each other. The fade gives up her position which is a mistake on her part and judging by the trajectory of the eye, it's clearly thrown from Joppa as opposed to being thrown uh, from lower. I know the chamber is on site since he's the one that planted and it's safe to assume his TPs will be ready to use so I slow the both left and right side. The reason why I do this is so that I can move without the fear of juggling these two angles and the slow prevents the chamber from peeking. I noticed the fade is being very patient, so I decided to throw a few fake shots hoping she'll peek, which she doesn't. Because of that, I decided to peek sight and the chamber TPs to safety and I immediately swing back to drop her knowing she'll peek based on how they were playing which is a standard trade. Time is ticking and I know the chamber is holding the cross, so I'm properly peeking the common angles in A main which is here and here. And just like that, I showcased how I dissected a 1 vs 2 by identifying how the enemies were playing, devising a plan by baiting the trade and being patient, and then analysing the probable position the chamber would be in. Scenario 4 Astra Icebox The enemy Sova has occasionally been darting here, so I decided to wait a few seconds to prevent my team from being scanned and alerting the enemies that we're going B. I helped the team to get onto site by covering snowman and site. However, because we didn't have a sentinel that can watch our flank, I decided to hold it and see if I can catch any enemies that are flanking off guard. I see my team is struggling to plant the bomb and look to call a rotation towards A, but they decided to ignore my call and I take the onus to slowly flank B. I noticed the sage, but flanking that hard and getting one pick isn't enough, so I'm looking for more enemies before I shoot. You will not kill my allies. Notice how I took my time and did not spray nor crouch. I just simply burst in and because of that it made it much easier to kill the rays and jet. Although I got more kills, me peeking and not wasting their time was a mistake. Firstly, Mikhail died making it a 3 vs 3 and had I died it would have been a 3 vs 2 with the enemies picking up our rifles essentially swinging around in their favour. In the end, my aim carried me through and won us the round but in a different game, I could have been the reason why we lost. Thank you for making it this far in the video but if you're serious about improving, check out these two videos on the screen right now guaranteed to help you improve. And as always, until next time.